Alright guys, welcome back to Gold Rush here with Doc and we were progressing pretty well and still uh, yeah, yeah, there's tons of ways how we can make our mining operation more efficient. I'm sitting at about 6 ounces of gold right now I mined over the last day so that's pretty decent and uh, now we should roll into the city and uh, probably buy a fuel tank and fill that up. I'm not quite sure how much that costs though. We got yeah six ounces. Let's see what the market gives. And we should um, be able to get a bit of money and then we can check out on the way back how much um, one of those tank cars would cost. And if that is not not something you know we can buy then we can at least fill our cherry cans up. I brought them so we have fuel again and can mine away. This game is uh, really grindy but um, yeah I think we can get workers. Workers doing work for us. So then there will be less grind I assume. And you will still be making gold and you can try out new things. Okay blacksmith whoop, let's hit him up. Let's do that whole thing. Well, the gold, yeah. Another gold bar. Sweet. Okay, let's roll out. Oh, there is a way out there. Okay, it looked like there was the fence. Okay, we got $2,900 at the moment. I mean, we have a small loan we pay, but should be good. So let's head on out to the bank. <coughs> Make some cash. Wait, wait. That's the most fun. Making money. <laughs> you work really hard for it in this game. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Stock. Ah. Yeah, well, it's low. Parcels. Yeah, well, okay. Sell these gold bars. Okay, we got about 10 grand from that. Gold price is relatively low, but, you know, we're not in a spot where we can really hold on to anything. We pretty much live on a hand to mouse basis. Like, you know, we earn what we can spend pretty much. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's how gold mining life starts. Let's check out the bigger tank here. How much? Six, eight. Yep. Boom. Let's add that and buy that thing. That will make our life easier. Boom. Okay, it's gonna wait for us outside. Let's check it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. We can and we can tank. We definitely need that in the long run, anyways. You know, if we if we run machines out there, and then they will they will need fuel eventually. Sweet. Okay. Now let's hit the gas station. Fill that thing up. <coughs> I don't know how much we can fit in there. Suppose it's a little bit. We have three grand. Let's fill her up as good as we can, I guess. Okay. Let the engine run at the, the gas station. Oh, always a bad idea. I think up there where is the, is the little tank thing. Yeah. Let's open that up. And grab that. Hook it in there. So if you fill it up completely two grand. Okay. Ooh, dangerous. Okay, we did that. So we have a full tank of fuel now. Nice. But we have no gold. But hey, it's an investment into an easier life in the future. Okay, let me bring this thing home. Then we can start filling up our stuff. And that should make life a whole lot easier. 
Alright guys, crack of dawn! And yeah, we had one more hose here, we're gonna bring that. Might can we probably can use it over there. Save some switching time. Okay, I got the fuel tank here. 100 percent filled. Let's bring it somewhere over there. Don't ride into the hole. That would be terrible. Get another digging hole. Okay. Probably should put it down somewhere around here. Okay. Good. Hand brakes. Okay, let's grab that guy here. Where's the hose? Ah, up there. Here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Refueling. And it doesn't take much. That will last us for a good while. Nice. Could also refuel our car. But we don't have to. Okay, cool. Now we have an easier way to have the fuel here. To keep our generators filled. Sweet, man. Okay, it's getting better. Wonder how and when we can hire people. I was reading something about it. But I have to check on it. Okay. Especially our electrical generator sucks up quite some diesel. Okay. Let's fill that stuff up. Yeah, everything takes time in this game. Gotta have patience. Okay. That guy needs village. Okay. Then we can definitely use another hose here. Okay. Whoop. Yep. Oh, fill it. Ah, okay. Whatever. That is that was glitchy. Finally it worked. Okay. Well, figured it out. Okay, let's put that back. And power cord back in. I wish it had two power power sources. Hey, what? Go in there. And you also come over here. Okay, but we still had this additional hose we can hook up. It would make our life a bit easier over there with all the hoses going on. So I think we should have... Yeah, it only has one output. We should have this always plugged. So we can easily switch that out here. Yeah, and this one is for these two. Okay. Well, we need to have some order here on our dig site, right? We need to prevent accidents and other stupid things. Okay. That goes here. That goes there. Now we would be fully operational again. So I quickly want to run over to the tent and see if we can eventually hire people or how that works because then we can progress I mean we have this whole plan to assemble and you know big things wonder if it would be worth taking trying to take out a really big loan but we can't because we took out this smaller loan so yeah use old Glen bank unlocked for 3000 it costs money Oh, but I can access the bank from here. Okay, that's good to know. Equipment store coming soon. Machine store coming soon. Okay. They're updating. Transport movie machines. Unlocked for 3000. So I have to pay to be able to hire a crew. Yeah, so we need to make a, a bit more money. But then I can probably hire somebody who, who would drive the... Who would drive the excavator right 
probably. Well, that just means we have to dig up a bit more gold. So we can afford to hire workers and then we see how that goes. Don't know. I mean, it depends probably how many uh, you know machines you have running and whatnot. And then um, we'll see. So yeah, let me get back to digging and I'll be back. Alright, next morning I have one bucket done and I have two more stored up and yeah we can uh, put them through i moved the whole mining operation to over here and that went way better we have this huge deep hole we can dig so we can dig here for a while so yeah here's our two gold buckets and i'm gonna send them directly through here it says it has no power oh yeah it doesn't okay plug it in Okay, water. Yeah, water we need to plug in too. Yeah, we definitely need more generators around this place. Okay, let's run it straight through that. Um, yeah, with this guy we will get the magnetite and we can sell that later on too, but now we just want to go for, for quick money. Okay, with two ounces. Let's wait until it's done processing. Before we got like 1.5 or so as well. Okay, maybe, I don't know, get more by doing it um, the proper way. Okay. Yeah, we got four ounces now. That's pretty decent, so we can head to town smelt that and um, try to get a worker so that's cool yeah it would be really cool if we just have to centralize switch boom we switch it off and everything goes the water pump situation is also obnoxious especially as we have to chain so many i mean now it's even more yeah we made four ounces and then we see how that works with if we actually have a worker doing stuff for us. Right, here we are again, almost in the city. And we're bringing our gold back home. Smelt it up, four ounces. It's not much. Can't wait until we get thousands of ounces and um, start to get really rich. Okay, we need to go to the blacksmith. There is... What tools do we have? Okay. Front loader, bigger... It would be a bigger excavator too. Hmm. Well, don't think it's really worth it. Would be good if you can get workers. Okay. Let's go smelt our gold. So workers will create passive income, I would assume. Something like that. No idea how they would run run things. Okay. Then maybe we could get a second excavator and really haul. Okay. Uh, sell. Melt in gold. Okay. Let's hit the bank and sell that stuff. Then um, we can go back and get a worker. See how much money we can make for this gold. It's hard work to get this gold out of the ground, man. But yeah, I'm really excited about the worker feature. I want to see how that works. Stop here real quick. Okay. Let's go. Stock. Uh, it's still kind of the same. Sell this gold bar and we have 5.8. Okay, cool. Okay, now we can do the worker thing. Alright, we are home. We made some money. So, let's see how that goes now. Hoppa. Workers. Confirm. We unlocked it. Okay. Empty. Awaiting. Ah, here. Money, cost five, worker zero. Okay, new worker, price $142 a day. Okay, 
Work 57%. Okay, let's hire this guy and assign him to something. Yeah. Hog pen pump, hog pen no pump, no. Oh, okay, we can just tell him to to operate that. No, here, small excavator. Okay, assign. Hired, new, awaiting, okay. Think he's, he's assigned to the small excavator now. Okay. Good. Is he doing stuff now? Oh yeah, look. We're getting passive income of ounces. It's, tri it's dripping in. So, well, he is assigned to the small excavator, but he's not really operating it. What if I jump in? Will it then stop? Stop producing? No. He's passively generating money. But I can operate this thing too, right? At the same time. Yeah. Okay, that, that is... Okay, so... However that works. But yeah, okay, he's... he's it's kind of a passive income there. Okay. Well, that kind of makes sense. I guess he will work when I don't work or something like that. Huh. Okay, so this is... How that works with workers and we bought a new fuel tank. Say we're making good progress and now it's pretty much just yeah trying to make money. 78% fillage with this bucket and then yeah we switch on. And now we're generating passive passive cash. That is good. I mean it's not super much, but better than nothing. We should we could probably hire another dude that works the the hog actually. Hmm. Was one guy we could hire right now. Maybe it takes a time until you see another option. Okay, let's see. Workers. Awaiting. Hmm. There's no new ones. Okay, so it takes time. You, I guess you, you send out a job offer. Transport locked. Okay, well, so that means we can still work and we get that passive income. So that's pretty neat. That should help it out. I mean, hopefully it will pay off in the long run. But yeah, I have to switch on my machines and uh, get back to gold digging, I guess. <laughs> because, yeah, that one guy is not doing really a lot, as it seems. <laughs> well, the main work will be on us. But I guess that's fine. Eventually we'll get more workers and then probably if we have other machines sitting here, they will use them too. I mean, I think we have a pretty efficient setup here. I kind of like how they did that. It would be cooler though if you would have real interference here on the construction site and everything and, you know, we'd have to plan out routes for, for, for drivers and stuff. That would have been great. Oh wait. Need to give it some power. Switch that thing on. Okay, we're running. Okay. Back to mining, I guess. And... What? Oh, we're out of fuel. But he still works. No, okay, now it shows fuel. I was just confused. Okay, well, I see you next time, my friends. And uh, let me know if you have tips and tricks, feedback. Everything is important. And yeah, we have the bucket in there, 10% fillage. Nice. And yeah, let's keep filling that. And I see you when I see you. And 
and we will make more progress here. Definitely want to see the tier 3 uh, mining equipment. Yeah. Bye guys.